Hi, my name is David. Today, we're going to solve a hacker rank problem in the strings category, making anagrams. This is an easy level problem, and we're going to solve it in JavaScript. So we got two strings, an A and B string, and it wants to know how many deletions it will take so that the A string and B strings both become anagrams. So in this one, if we create the E, delete the E and A, and delete the F and B, there's two deletions so that A becomes CD and B becomes DC in their anagrams. Anagrams meaning that they have the same exact lengths, letters, and the same exact frequency, but not the same order necessarily. So how are we gonna solve this problem? And there's a very clever way to solving this, and it took me a while to figure out and make sense of it. So the first thing we want to do is that we want to create a count variable to keep track of all the deletions. And next, we're going to create a map object. And we're going to use this map object to keep a balance of the unique characters in A and how many times it appears. And then we're going to use B to balance it out. And you'll see as we'll do this. So we're going to loop through A. And inside of this loop, we're going to fill out the map. So if the current, the, if the character is not in the map, Let me put this in A. We add the character and set the value to one. So we know that it appears once. And then if we is there if the character is already in the map, we increment the count. Else increment the value. So that will keep track of the map so far with the A. And now we have to use loop through B. And we're gonna keep a balance of everything with this. So inside this loop, if the character is in the map, we decrement the value. Else, we increment the count. So there's two arrays. So this first count is going to keep track of all the unique values that B is in, that A doesn't have, that count as a deletion. And now, A for A, we have the map. And where it's not equal to 0 inside of the map, a key that's not equal to 0, we have to add it to the count, and that's going to give us our final count. So, so there's two ways we're holding the count so far. So now we loop through map, and inside of this loop, if we increment add the count by the value of each key. So that's going to give us everything we need. And then we lastly return count. So I'm putting in code so this will make a lot more sense. So let count equal zero. Let map equals the object. And now we loop through the A for let i equals zero. I is less than a dot length i plus plus and now we add the value so if map a i is not in it we add the value and set it equal to one else we increment this value. 
now we loop through for b for that i equals zero i is less than b dot length i plus plus and inside of here we check if it's inside of it so if map b i is inside of it we have to decrement the count Else, we know that this is a deletion we need to keep track of from the B side that A doesn't have. And now to get all the counts from the A side, we loop through the map for that key in map. And we're gonna count plus map key and now we return key Just making sure these are correct. Okay, let's run the code. Turn count. Awesome, you got it. And pass it all the cases. So for the complexities, we know that we're looping through A and B. So it's going to be O of N plus M for each of the strings. And the space complexity will also be the same because we're creating, well, space complexity will just be O of N because we're creating the map defending with A. And that is how you solve this problem. Thank you.